Welcome back with Chilling with Chili Sid and Don't Fear the Reaper. That's all I've got to say. Right, I'm going to source reviews today from Hotheads. Now, Stuart from Hotheads kindly sent me some sauces. Um, I've got three, but today I'm going to be doing two. And the hot one I'm going to save for another day because I think it might be too powerful for today. I love Hotheads logos. Now, look at this, right? I've got um, a roasted naga hot chili ketchup. Roasted naga hot chili ketchup. Now, anything with ketchup is nice, isn't it? But a hot chili ketchup. Oh my god. Now, I just want to quickly show you the logo. So, hot head logo. I love that logo, you know? It's like one of those um, Catherine wheel things going around, isn't it? Silver, solid, metal. It's good, right? The other one I'm going to be doing today is in a jar. And guess what, guys? It's a honey chili habanero mustard. Now, I like mustard and I like habaneros. A bit of honey is good. So this this could be good right so let me see toss up toss up toss up i think i'll do the ketchup first yeah so ketchup it's a nice size 390 ml bottle and do you know what i have done this yet already look that ketchup is just there yeah it's hardly dribbly and it's just brilliant it's thick it's lovely just like ketchup consistency so let's just read a little bit about this a roasted naga chili ketchup the hottest of our amazing tasty ketchups hottest okay um where are we ketchups this one features the naga or ghost pepper as is widely known we roast them before making this rich tasty hot ketchup to give unbeatable flavor and heat now you um you'll never go back to dull supermarket ketchups once you've tried this masterpiece you know what i've kind of gone off the dull supermarket sauces at the moment all the time my son's actually forbidding me from buying them um since hot sauces came into my life, that's it. You just don't go to the mundane, do you really? You don't, right? So this sauce is extra hot five chilies. I'll just show you that. Check out the X. Can you see the extra hot five chilies? I think you can't look at that there. Wow. So nice um, Lego. And then Scoville rating, 855,000 to just over a million. That's going to be nice, isn't it? Ketchup that's that hot, that's going to be nice, right? So that's um, not far off the Reaper range. So hot heads with ghost pepper. Now let's see, the so deadly hot chili ketchup with ghost pepper. Right, since 1994, hot heads has been the leading supplier in authentic speciality chili pepper products in the UK with a passion for chilies and all things hot. Our ingredients are selected with the utmost care to bring you the best tasting ketchup possible. Now, ingredients in here are so there's no artificial colors flavors or preservatives which is really good to know no caking or those horrible tastes that you sometimes get so ingredients we've got water tomato paste sugar roasted habanero um, roasted habanero chili 6.16 percent um, glucose naga jalapia chili of this 4.45 percent nearly five percent of those salt cornstarch acetic acid or your vinegar garlic citric acid um, onion, ascorbic acid, and cinnamon and cloves. So you've also got, apart from the the heat from the peppers, you've also got cinnamon, cloves, which also adds like warmness to it, doesn't it? So cloves are quite good for you. So if you've got a cold, this will be a good one. Not only the chilies, but the cinnamons and the cloves. So let's have a look at the bottle first. Now, as I said, 390 gram bottle, really nice. And again, this is a four months one. Thank you, Stuart. This might, well, it won't last four months, but it's a long sell by date, isn't it? So um, I'll just show you the bottle again. So look at, check out this side. So we've got the heat, heatometer there and a lovely pepper there with the Scoville rating, a nice logo. I love the label, black, metallic, really nice. And obviously your information there. Uh, look at the sauce itself, the, the ketchup itself. There we go. Now look, bits of flex, you've got dark bits in there, it could be cloves, it could be cinnamon, and it's thick, isn't it? And again, let's have a look at this, look at that. So, I think I'm going to have to really shake this one up to get anything. Yes, let's not break the glass table, that would be not good, wouldn't it? So, wow, I mean, check out the seeds in the neck of that bottle, look at those seeds in there, those habanero jalakia seeds. So, you know, I like my crunch here. I mean, it doesn't have to have crunch. I can do without the crunch, but I do like my crunch and it's in there. So let's have a little sniff. Whoa, there it is. Oh my God, it's really gloopy, really thick, really ketchup consistency with bits in it. So, okay, 
guess what I can taste? Tomatoes. So we had, we had, was it tomato, tomato paste? So I can smell the tomato paste. Now it's almost pizza, really almost ketchupy. So that sort of thick tomato paste, yeah. I can't actually detect the smell of the peppers in there, but there is a flavour like the Habs, you know, I can sort of kind of smell that. And um, tomatoey, vinegary, yeah, so it's a tangy tomatoey, but until you taste it, you're not going to be able to detect what's in there. So, for the whole. Right, now, because it's really thick, I'm going to have to just do it over here. Let's see if I can get it out without whacking the back of the bottle. Come on. You know, when I said that, one of my cats ran across the garden, but wow. Now, guys, check out this. This is amazing, isn't it? I mean, look at the colour. Obviously, it's going to be ketchup red, and it's got consistency. I've got a massive spoonful there because I do like my ketchup because, as you know, I like my chips, yeah? Chips, wedgies, curly fries, all those things, and ketchup. Now, there is um, a peppery smell now. The aroma doesn't come through in the bottle as much as on the spoon. So you've got the tomato puree type smell. You've got the tanginess in there, the acetic acid, and there is a hint of warmth. So we just have to go and see, okay? Nothing for it. Glasses off. Down my neck, as I always say. Here we go. That's warm. That's warm. That's a very nice warm ketchup. Now, it's thicker than normal ketchup, I think. Um, wow. My whole of my tongue, I wouldn't say it was a mega, mega fire, but it's warm. Um, if you don't eat chilies, that will be on fire. But for me, it's a nice warmth in there. Um, a bit more than warm. I'd say about 5 out of 10 heat on there. Um, very tomatoey, very puree. It's um, it's a nice ketchup. There's nothing, no other ingredients in there that I can detect. There's no other ingredients that like cloves and things like that. Maybe in small amounts. So you can't actually say it's clovey or cinnamony. But it just adds to the flavour. It's a beautiful ketchup. Warm, thick, nice consistency. Lots of seeds in there. And wow. Now my tongue, I've just had it, I think a few seconds ago. Initially it was very warm throughout the whole mouth. Now it's just on my t on my tongue. Um, do you know what? I'd love to dip my chips in that one. Wedgies would be great, absolutely great. Now I don't normally do this, but I'm just going to have to lick the neck of that bottle. Mm -hmm. So Stuart from Hotheads, you have outdone yourself. This ketchup is divine. Heinz ketchup is going to be kind of not in my house anymore. So Hotheads hot chili ketchup with ghost peppers and uh, roasted naga. Both of those chilies are hot ones, and with the acidity in the sauce, it's brought the heat down. So for me, right now, I mean, initially it was very warm, but I like very warm. So it was very warm, and now the heat subsided. I can just have a tingling on my tongue. So for me, I would say about one or two down there, but it's nice. It's It's got a kick to it. Um, if you don't eat chilies at all, at all, then this will probably be about eight, especially initially when you put it in your mouth, you might find that really, really overpoweringly hot. If you eat chilies, I'd say probably four or five, something up there, because it's still got a kick to it, and it's really like moorish. I need I need some chips now. I think lunch chips. She wants hot ketchup with it, okay? So that's a beautiful bottle, nice size, and a nice ketchup, and I don't think it's overpoweringly hot. So now, we're going yellow. So this one, as I showed you, it's a jar and it's a mustard. So very quickly, just, just quickly show you that. So you can see it's a ro roasted habanero honey mustard. Now, roasted habanero honey mustard, that sounds nice. I like mustards anyway, and they have that peppery taste, but this is gonna have a peppery chili taste, I'm hoping. So let's have a quick look. So here we go. An amazing combination of sweet and heat. This mustard is stunning on everything, on everything. So stunning on everything, yeah? Um, Mustard, this is four out of ten, uh, four out of five heat chilies. Um, this mustard is great for use on everything from hot dog steaks, chops, hamburgers, cold meats, and vegetables, anything and everything, yeah. So, um, with habanero chilies for a fruity flavor, nice logo. Playing with fire since 1994. So, the ingredients we've got again, no artificial colors or flavoring, which is another bonus. Good. So, ingredients water, habanero chili peppers, and that's 15.8%. Um, sugar, sunflower oil, honey, 4.9%, salt, mustard, sugar cane, vinegar, 
garlic spices now allergens are listed in bold so the only allergen here will be mustard and vinegar so nutritional values and again it's a four month sell by date so less said about ingredients and things let's look at this label again i love this i love the what fiery label that it's got on there so for heat let's turn it around nice label there again the hotheads logo which is amazing you know spinning discs going in the sky beautiful and then what you've been waiting for look at that all those bits of flavor in there those ingredients are just making your mouth water isn't it it's making my mouth water so let's just get into it wow what can i say it smells like mustard that's it it smells like mustard but you might have a twist to it because mustard has that characteristic um, mustard seed taste yeah and um nothing else i can't detect anything else with mustard so it has got flecks so if you look in there look at those flecks of chili powder and, and look at the runny consistency so it's a nice um nice consistency of mustard there and look at that yeah think about that being poured over your meats your cold meats sandwiches even look at that wow chips even chips great so smell wise nothing but you know what there's lots of bits in there every spoonful's got lots and lots of bits in there. there's a habanero chilies there's bits of skin all over the place it's just and you know what it reminds me i'm playing with this it reminds me of like a nice runny custard consistency with bits in it sort of a spicy custard bits that could be an idea hothead spicy custard hmm, just a thought right so i'm just going to try this now um oh well let's go for a biggie spoon do you like my mustard? Again, no, no, no other other smell. Nothing, nothing overpowering. Now I've got a massive spoonful. I think I'll go a bit less because it is mustard. So, we go. Nothing for it, but no match. Mmm, bits. It's got a heat to it. Now, mustard normally has a heat, yeah, mustard heat. So this one's got a creamy mustard taste and a little kick from the chilies, yeah. There's a four out of five rating. So for me, because I've just done this one, maybe it's kind of dulled my senses, but there is a heat to it. Uh, I really like it, and I don't think for me it's that mega hot. I'd say, again, about two. But if you didn't eat mustard, or if you didn't, well, I'm sure most people have had mustard, but this one might have a chilli hit to it. So if you find normal mustard hot, then this will be up there maybe about eight or something like that and if you normally eat mustard again midway but it's a beautiful golden color mustardy color really nice tasting bits in it and a nice runny consistency so you can drizzle it over things now one of the things what was it it said here chuck it on everything obviously your hamburgers your chops so all of your meats your vegetables um you could spread it in sandwiches, in baguettes, doorsteps, all those sorts of things. And do you know what? Chuck it in something different. Stir fries, maybe. Yeah, because a hint of mustard is quite nice and everything. The flavour for this one, obviously, it's a very creamy, lush texture. And a nice, smooth, well, smooth with bits in it, consistency. You've got lots of seeds in there. And the seeds give you that crunch. And it's, it's kind of a hot, well, I wouldn't say it's a mega hot one. Mustard is generally hot. So this one's got a little bit of a habanero kick to it and do you know what it's got the sweet sweetness from the honey so the sweet and the heat it's like a rounded flavor more rounded flavor so for me it's probably about one two and very moorish so we need to keep the jar away because i will be dipping into that uh if you don't eat chilies at all or you find mustard hot then this one will be having a bit of a extra effect on that one so normal mustard and a bit of chilies on top but the sweetness is in there so it kind of counterbalances all the heat yeah so really nice creamy runny nice consistency and as i said like a like a warm um hot custard so guys if you'd like to order any the either one of these two products maybe christmas presents etc or just for general use so you know what to do don't you go to the hotheads website and either these or any of the full range um do the usual yeah order 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 like subscribe what can i say don't fear the reaper thank you very much for watching